Hello and welcome to the history of Babylon 5. Omega Ordain coming at you with the history of Adira Tyree. And here we go. Adira Tyree was born to a lowly house in the Centauri Republic. She grew to be particularly fond of star laces. In her adult years, she lived as a slave to Golan named Trachis, contracted legally via the Republic. In 2258, Trachis had her working in a strip club on the Earth station Babylon 5. There, she got to know the other dancers. Trachis wanted her to seduce Ambassador Londo Malari so she could steal his purple files, crucial information about many of the Republic's noble houses. To accomplish this, Adira promptly began a love affair with Malari. Adira spends many several evenings with Malari, but ends up falling in love with him after his boundless kindness to her, which includes giving her an antique brooch that belonged to the matriarch of his family. Pressured by Tarkis, she finally drugs Malari and uses a mind probe to obtain the passwords to his files, downloading them into a data crystal and leaving Malari unconscious in his quarters. However, when she is supposed to meet with Tarkis in the Zokolo, she flees from him instead. She goes to Akish, who hides her until she can get a transport to Davo. Tarkis manages to track her down by bugging Malari and kidnaps her. Malari and Commander Jeffrey Sinclair are able to not only rescue her, but free her from slavery as well. Malari invites her to stay with him, but she tells him the wounds are too fresh and that she needs to return to home on Davo for a while. Malari insists that she takes the brooch and to wear it proudly as a free woman. Adira promises to return to him. In 2260, she decides to make good on her promise and return to the station. Malari is overjoyed at the thought of being with her again, sparing no expense in planning for her arrival. This includes buying her new clothes and renting the largest guest suite on the station. On her way back, she is poisoned by the agent of Mr. Morden and dies in her cabin. The death is blamed on Lord Rifa, just as Morden hoped, prompting Malari to renew his alliance with the Shadows. Malari later has Rifa killed for the perceived hand in killing Adira. Suspecting a connection between her death and Rifa's, Emperor Cartesia has his Minister of Intelligence, Lord Durango, learn the truth of Adira's murder. Because Cartesia ordered him to keep his findings secret, Durango only disclosed to Mimbari the truth after the Emperor's death. Devastated and distraught at the news, Malari subsequently has Morden put to death and his head placed on a pike, avenging Adira's death. During the Bakari Day of the Dead in 2262, she appeared to Malari on Babylon 5 for the evening, providing one final night for the two of them to be together again. Thank you for watching the history of Babylon 5. Special thanks to the Babylon Project and all contributors for all information you heard today. Very special thanks to my Patreons and to Royalty Free Tube for this fantastic background. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. These things really help the channel grow. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.